Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Malvika and I studied in Brilliant Pala in AR21 for the AIMS 2021 batch. Uh, I'm making this video to uh, tell a little bit about my experience in Brilliant in the last two years. So firstly, I want to thank everybody at Brilliant for all the support they gave me in the last two very hectic years. Uh, whether it be, uh, you know, just the emotional support you need whenever you're feeling too stressed out or down or the academic support, you know, in terms of the study materials or if it's just clearing your doubts. So all those things, uh, everyone at Brilliant, our class teachers, the teachers who taught us, uh, the wardens and ev everyone else, all the Brilliant staff, they were so supportive. So I want to thank everyone for that. Uh, now, another thing is I want to share a few tips that I picked up along the way that I think might be useful for you too. So one of the things is to limit your study material. Uh, it's important that you don't, uh, you know, burden yourself with uh, a lot more than you can actually study. So to keep an aim, a focus on exactly what you want to cover. So the most important thing would be your NCRT. Uh, the N like read through it very clearly. Uh, and the second thing is the notes that your teachers will give you. Uh, these two will be enough for your theory. And then the next thing is to practice questions. So one, you'll have the exams from Brilliant. Uh, then second thing you can, uh, what I used to do is uh, in the Brilliant Study Material, there were two books that were a uh, collection of past year pa uh, questions. So there's one for physics and then there's one for chemistry. So you can do these questions along with uh, the chapters as you study them and that will help you a lot. And another thing, uh, yeah, revising the exam questions will also help you. And then if you're done with that, you can go to the uh, Brilliant app. That was also very useful for me because they have a lot of questions, past your questions, and uh, th those are there chapter-wise, and then there are mock tests. So you can attempt, attempt those, and they'll be very helpful for you. Uh, so that was the first point. Now, the second thing I want to tell you uh, is that when you read through your NCRT, it's good to uh, note down points, like the most important points. What I used to do is, uh, on the very first page of the chapter in the NCRT textbook, I would write down these points so that in case I don't have the time to go through the whole chapter once again, reading through those points will be sufficient and then I should be ready to move on to questions. So doing that will be very helpful, especially in the last few weeks before your exam, your actual exam, because you just need to read through that, those and then you're ready to go for questions. And lastly, what I want to tell you is that uh, don't stress out yourself too much. It's important that you give your mind and your body some time to relax. So spend time with your family, uh, eat well, sleep well, uh, sleep at least six hours a day and relax and study. You should be able to enjoy and study and don't, uh, don't uh, sleep too late. Uh, I used to do that and I used to get headaches very frequently and that will not help you. So sleep enough. Uh, and eat healthy too. So all these should be able to uh, help you reach your goal and I hope you do. Uh, so all the best to all of you writing the exam. Thank you.